Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is adjective phrase 93. The adjective phrase today is pro bono. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone does something pro bono, it means he or she does it for free without charging a fee. It is mostly used with lawyers defending someone for free or a doctor willing to operate or treat someone for free especially for those who cannot afford it. Okay, let's continue. The phrase derives from an old Latin phrase, pro bono publico, which literally meant for the public good. Okay, makes sense. Let's continue. They say this practice has existed since the 1400s. So this has been done before. It's not something that's very recent. Uh, all right, and we have four examples of the way we may hear it used. In the United States, the American Bar Association recommends the lawyers should contribute at least 50 hours of pro bono service per year. All right, I don't know if they do that, but that's what they recommend. Number two, some lawyers will take a case pro bono if it could get them a lot of attention and win them fame. Yeah, especially if it's a high profile case and they're trying to become a more famous lawyer. If they could win this case, it's, it's like great advertising for them. So for that reason, they may do it pro bono. Uh, I don't know. It's not always because they care about the person that needs defending. Sometimes it's for this reason too. <clears throat> Let's continue. Uh, in the cable series, Nip and Tuck. Yeah, this used to be a cable series about, uh, you know, two doctors that did plastic surgery. And they made a lot of money from plastic surgery. One of the doctors suggested that they do so many hours of pro bono per year. Okay. And number four here, that lawyer does many pro bono cases because she's, uh, she really sympathizes with many poor people who are in need of legal aid. Well, I'm sure there's some lawyers out there like that. Not that many, but there are some. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.